Now, part two of this program is to find the greatest common factor. It's very similar to finding the least common multiple, and if you're going to have a loop that's going to increment through, you're going to be using modular division, but instead of going up, our multiples went up, for our factor, we're going to kind of go down. So let's think about uh, how we would do the greatest common factor if we were teaching it to a family member. So let's take four and, well, four and six would be too easy. Let's take like um, 12 and 18. If we were doing it in math class, I'd have my 12, and I would break it down into factors like maybe 4 and 3, and then I would break it, keep going. So I've got all my different factors of 12, and I might do the same thing for 18. So I'm going to break it down into like maybe 2 and 9, and then I could break 9 down. And then I'm going to look for the largest factor that they have in common. So I see. Um, that they both have 2 times 3 or 6 as a common factor. So I got it that way. But once again, this is not how the computer is going to do it. We want to think about like just one strand, one number, one sequence of numbers that I can test the other number for. Now this one's going to be slightly different from the least common multiple in that I could just do multiples of one number and test it with the other. I only have to do one kind of test. There's a couple different ways you can do this problem, but really I'm going to need to test both numbers. And I'm just going to brute force it down. We as people would not want to do it this way, but computers are incredibly fast and they do not get bored, so I wouldn't care. So let's say that I start with 12 as my greatest common factor. I'm going to take 12 and I'm going to, that's going to be what I divided by this time because we're talking about factors. So I have 12, which is the number, versus this is my factor, what I'm going to be decrementing, and 12, and I'm going to do the same thing with 18. So I've got 12 modulo 18, I mean, 12 modulo 12 and 18 modulo 12. Well, this one does give me a 0, so 12 is a factor of 12, but I do not get 0 here. So 12 is not a common factor. Now I'm just going to go to the next number. Let's change the 12 to an 11. And I'm not going to get 0 for either one of them. Let's go to 10. And 10 is not a factor. So let's go to 9. I'm not going to get a factor. Let's go to 8. I'm not going to get it. Let's go to 7. Let's go to 6. So if I have 12, I'm just going down. I'm just starting at 12. I'm just going to go try the next number down, the next number down, the next number. Finally, I'm going to get to 6. And here I do get a remainder of 0. And for 18, modulo 6, do I get a number of 0? I do. So I found my greatest common factor. And I started at the top and worked my way down because I wanted the greatest. I could have started from the bottom and gone up, but then I would have found a common factor, not necessarily the greatest common factor. So uh, you can see in one way that it's similar, and then I'm starting with one of these two numbers. But instead of going up, finding the multiples, I'm going to decrease by 1 each time, and I'm going to have to test both numbers, not just one. So um, one of these numbers is going to be assigned as the greatest common factor. And here for my while loop, my condition is going to have to have two parts to it. I'm going to have to check both numbers and see if I'm getting 0. So notice that and I'm, I have not equals to 0 because it's going to keep going until they both are 0. And that's why I need to have an or here. I would stop when they, when they are both. An and, and the opposite of and is or. So uh, just think about the condition for your greatest common factor. And while it's true, so while they're not both factors, I decrement by one, and I'm just, and then I will stop the loop when I've got my greatest common factor and display the results. So I'm going to expect for you to do, be able to do this button on your own as well, and then add a challenge where you're going to use random numbers, and then maybe even um, a display function and using is valid as well. So let's see, you know, how much you can get accomplished.